What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Opti TV. My name is Alberto and this time we're going to be taking you guys on an international trip to St. Thomas and the International Optimist Regatta. If you've ever heard of this regatta or haven't and have been wondering what the big deal is, have we got the video for you. For those of you who don't know, I'm from the Dominican Republic, and this regatta intrigued me because I wanted to find out more about the history of the optimists in the Caribbean. And as it turns out, the IOR had a very big part to play in that. But we're gonna get to that later. This episode is gonna be new for us as it's our first international regatta that we've ever covered. And it's gonna be kind of a short guide to the event for parents and coaches as to why you should attend this really unique event. We're gonna be covering tips on transportation, where to stay, conditions, and all that good stuff. But honestly, I went there to find out just why this event has been going on for more than 25 years. So smash that like button and let's go. So you wanna to go to St. Thomas. There's very few other places that are easy to get to from the mainland United States. Great competition, great conditions, and a lot of history, but we'll get into that later. St. Thomas is located in the Eastern Caribbean in the US Virgin Islands. It's a small island of 34 square miles and is the home of the St. Thomas Yacht Club, the host of the International Optimist Regatta. So this happened to me and I just want to note, if you're traveling from the continental US or Puerto Rico from St. Thomas, you're going to have to go through customs again and the lines can get long, so plan accordingly. Back to the video. The best way to get to Calpet Bay and the St. Thomas Yacht Club is honestly by taxi, which are plentiful and definitely a recommended way of getting around. There are private drivers, but taxi rates are set and guaranteed all across the island. St. Thomas Yacht Club is located on the eastern end of the island of St. Thomas on Calpet Bay. Founded in 1964 by racing sailors. So this is the Yacht Club itself. Very well set out and overlooking the beach. It's got a great view. If you come here, be prepared to swim through some seaweed to launch because this stuff piles up a lot. The kids launch on the beach here. Green Fleet sails right in front and red, white, and blue goes all the way over there. Calpit Bay and the eastern end feature swell and plenty of current and sailors will be challenged on both the green and championship group courses. I can see why this regatta has been going on for 28 years. So besides the world-class coaching, friendly hosts, scenic views, what else draws young sailors here? Well, we talked to Carol Baroder and she was at the very first one. So Carol, just what is the big deal about the International Optimist Regatta? I don't think it would be far to pat ourselves on the back by saying that this event brought Oppie sailing to the Caribbean. And at this yacht club in 1992, we had a junior sailing program and the junior coach at that time took a group of kids up to the Orange Bowl Regatta in Miami. The first year we had sailors from the U.S. Virgin Islands and to get more sailors because there weren't in Optimus sailors in other islands. Uh, we brought down a group of kids from Florida. And again, that, that really opened a lot of local kids' eyes here to what could be done in the Optimist. And I should say without making it a commercial that McLaughlin um, has been a great help to this because they would bring down the boats for charter. And because they were chartered boats and they were already in the Caribbean shipping wise, it made it less expensive for other islands to take those boats home to see their programs. So in probably 25 years, we've gone from having the first optimist um, in the Caribbean to being a very strong part of optimist sailing. Um, I will say we have one, port, one sailor from Puerto Rico, Raul Rios, who actually won the Opti Worlds, Opti World Championships. Um, so that was the first time a Caribbean sailor had won the Opti World. Um, but our kids now go to many events. We have strong programs on many islands and Caribbean junior sailors, like their senior counterparts, are those to be reckoned with in the sailing scene.
Oftentimes, I'm sure everybody wonders if heading off to these events is worth it. Well, this one definitely is. But don't ask me. Let's check in with top contributor Omari Scott. My name is uh, Omari Scott. I live in Miami, coach at Coral Reef Yacht Club. Uh, this event is awesome. Obviously, it's in the Caribbean, so it's warm weather. You wake up every morning, it's like 12 to 15 already. Big waves because we're, you know, get the Atlantic Ocean over here. The kids enjoy it simply because of the setup. Logistics is super easy. The club is in the middle and surrounded by a lot of condos, so it's very easy for accommodation. Uh, the kids get up and bring themselves to sailing each day, which is amazing. It's just a fun event. The kids are close together. They hang out, they go to the pool, they go to catamarans, they go, they go swimming together. There's a bunch of different things that you can't really get at different venues. It kind of brings everyone together. So for me, it's just uh, an event that I did as a sailor growing up and pretty much doing as a coach. So I've been doing this thing for like 20 years. I've told so many people to come here and every time they come, they're like, I'm coming back and it's their favorite event. So the weather, logistics, um, bringing the sailors together, families together, all the stuff you can expect coming to IOR regarding St. Thomas. So hopefully see you here next year. Thank you to the St. Thomas Yacht Club and the International Optimist Regatta organizers for having us over. We certainly had a good time making this video and we hope that you get to visit St. Thomas for the next edition of the IOR. That about wraps up this episode. We hope you guys enjoyed this look at St. Thomas and the International Optimist Regatta. Consider attending this event as it's so worthwhile for your sailing experience as a coach, as a parent, and as a sailor. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you made it all the way here, we'd be so honored if you would subscribe to the channel and join us into our journey into the Opti Sailing world. Thanks again for watching, and remember, stay sailing.